Welcome to Stream Outdoors. Today we want to talk to you guys a little bit about nymphing. And the basics of nymphing. Uh, as a beginner, it's not always apparent how to set up a nymph rig, going through the process of doing that. So today we want to take a few minutes, take a step-by-step -step process of setting up a nymph rig, tying it up, positioning your weights, and generally just preparing to uh, start nymphing. For most beginners, as you start, you it begins in a dry fly world and honestly dry flying is really tough uh, if you've just bought your rod and you've started dry flying you know what I mean so to cover the basics for nymphing obviously a good rod you want to generally a little bit heavier so if you're nymphing if you've got multiple rods uh, if you're nymphing and normally at a five weight and you're gonna start nymphing go to a six weight or if you're a four weight go to a five weight just to kind of handle that extra load both from the weights to extra flies and then your indicator as well. One of the main things is we start out and kind of start feeding out our reel, um, and this is kind of starting at the very beginning. As we feed this out, a lot of times as we're pulling this line out, we start to get this, this, this curl. And as we have this curl, that's the very, uh, we gotta start from the beginning. So as we start to pull that line out, we wanna just kind of stretch that line and pull our hands across that friction. And as we let go, that line just starts to get really straight. So you're just kind of pulling that line and letting that heat up a little bit in your hands to ride that. So as you start to pull that, line out that's the that's the first place we're going to start so just kind of go through that and just heat that line up and then you get there and just hold it for a second let that line get nice and straight so now our line doesn't have all that twist and curl in it and then we're going to start feeding from there one tip nobody ever showed me it was years into it and that was just feeding the line through the eyelets okay pull enough line out so that we can take our line here and we create just a small loop in that small loop, we're actually gonna take that loop and we're gonna feed this loop through the eyelets like this, one by one, and that way as you let it go, it doesn't go right down through the hole. You've got this lined out right here so that you can continue to feed that. You drop it and it just sits, okay? So now that we've got our line fed up through our eyelets and we're looking at our tippet, I'm gonna create, when I tie my fly, I'm gonna tie my fly way up here, okay? And so my tag line, I'm gonna have my tandem rig in one knot. So I don't have to tie on to my nymph and then tie on to the hook of my nymph to run a tandem rig. So a tandem rig running two flies at the same time, okay? So when I tie my fly, instead of having a short little leader just to clip off, I am gonna feed that line, line that fly all the way at my line about 12 to 16 inches, okay? So we're talking this much distance and the tag end, and then when I'm ready to tie my second nymph on I can tie it on and then we're done. Okay so as we're, t as we're running this up what we can do is we can go ahead and just feed this line all the way up. Give your whole distance so I have now gone about 12 inches okay so just for speed sakes we're gonna just probably tie a clinch a lot of times I want to do something more like a, a palm or some some other kind of knot but just for speed sake and for simplicity reasons we're just gonna do a clinch okay so come up here tie a clinch and then leave that tag end okay so the tag end all the way down here just like always I'm not gonna lick it but we want to lick that knot as we're pulling that on Okay, if you got the chapstick on, that's even better. Okay, love the chapstick. Okay, so now as you can see, my fly, okay, and then my indicator, I've got, I've got my tag line, so I've only have to tie now two knots. Okay, and I am ready to roll, okay? Speed, amount of time you're spending on the river, this is how it's done. Fly, tag line. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tie my second fly. I got my San Juan worm on, and I'm gonna go with this gray scud, the final. Okay, so I already have my leader feeding out. I'm gonna go ahead right in here. And again, just for speed's sake, we're just gonna do a clinch on this. Okay, set it up. So now we have our San Juan and our scud. This is how we run a tandem rig with only tying two knots when it comes for nymphing. These are great spring, spring 
nymphing flies. San Juan is those waters get a little higher. Scuds are, well, who doesn't like shrimp? So the size of this guy, we're gonna just kinda grab him and as we place this, we're gonna go ahead and just set him right in this space between these two nymphs. Just about six inches above my scud. And I can tell you, if you guys do this right, nymphing is gonna change the way you fish. You're gonna nymph all the time, and I am not kidding. I'm gonna go ahead and run that up about six more inches, right in here. We're gonna go ahead and place the second one. Okay, tiny little split. Six inches San Juan. About six inches till my next weight. Six inches to my scud. So now that we've got our nymph rig set up, our tag-in nymph, our weight, okay, generally the larger nymph going in this position, okay, another six inches up, our weight. Now we gotta figure where do we put our indicator. Now, remember depth. If we're fishing in four feet of water, then we wanna look at it about six feet up to our indicator, about one and a half the distance, okay? So the river today that we're gonna fish, we're probably gonna fish in about four to six feet of water. So four to six feet, run that up. I'm about six foot, so here's about six foot to my nymph right there, okay? Gonna go ahead and feed that line out. So there's my six foot up. It almost puts it right next to my line, so that's a great spot. Take our indicator, we just wanna crease our line here. We're gonna come in and we're just gonna force that little guy right through that. Okay, take that line, open it up over the bubble, and just pull it back on. Okay, so now we have our indicator all lined up. Set so now that we've got our indicator, we won't remember, one and a half the distance of the depth you're fishing. If you're fishing five feet, you want to be at about seven and a half feet, six feet, nine feet. Do the math. This is where math comes in, okay? Always using math. So as we're feeding this along, we're gonna watch this indicator as it's feeding along and, oh, there we go, right there. Come on, oh, there, we, yeah. San Juan in the springtime, look at this, beautiful rainbow. Come here, buddy. And I got a net, use it. Proof is in the pudding. Nymph, nymphing is incredible. This is just a little rainbow. Taking the San Juan. Nymphing is really productive, guys. Great little rainbow here. Took the San Juan worm. It just is, keep that fly in that zone. Okay, this water's a little bit fast today, so to keep it there, I added another weight just above that. Okay, San Juan worm, first weight we talked about. Second weight we talked about. I added another one just to get that extra, but it's distributed across that. So now that we've gone through a couple of these tactics, guys, get out there, fish hard, catch some fish. Check us out on Instagram. Check us out on YouTube, streamoutdoors.com. Thanks for watching.